hello, Brother Monroe here. Welcome to the long campaign in 106. Uh, this is my first time uh, really trying to play this. I'm starting in 1890. I'm playing as the British Empire, of course. Um, and I'm really excited to test it out. Um, this is under Hotfix 2, so I'm told that most of the game-breaking bugs, as in you can't progress, have been fixed. And you can now carry on after a war. So, we do get to design our own fleet to start off with, uh, with the Superb class, which is uh, probably going to be a bit of an overstatement, because these things are probably going to be rubbish. <laughs> Absolutely flipping rubbish. But maybe, just maybe... I can make one that isn't absolutely god awful. Um, Jesus. Yeah, you get no options. Oh, compound armor. Something. Oh, Hyperion, thank you very much for the sub. Uh, that is very kind of you. Thank you very much. Right, both towers interestingly have very similar stats um so i'm gonna go for the front tower one because it is cheaper and the secondary tower uh, we'll go for this one this could be a little bit more base accuracy uh doo -doo 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 -doo. hmm i mean i'm really hoping not to fight too much with Ancient pre well, I mean, no, they're not ancient, they're modern, but uh, the pre dreadnought era stuff are just it's just god awful. Uh, here for a 12 inch, get away, 12 inch dual guns, just screw it, go big or go home. Um, and for these ones, we will be cheating. <laughs> I won't do this for all of them. Uh, I'll try and stick to more realistic values. But there you go. 12.9 inch. 58. <laughs> yes, that's a perfectly sensible gun. Um, yeah, I'm sure that's that's absolutely fine. I might actually be able to hit something with it. You never know your luck. Um, right. Um, smoke interference of minus 25. I could get away with a single... Double funnel. Oh, fuck. No, I won't. Get away with nothing. Yeah, so we're going to have smoke interference, which is lovely. Um, so we might as well go for four funnels. <laughs> four funnels? No. Don't like the look of that. Um, I was hoping we could get three. Mm, I don't think two of those will fit. Nope. Mm. That's a lot of funnel. <laughs> mm. That's a lot of funnel. It's hideous, this thing, by the way. Why are you complaining when you say you fit? Yeah, fine. Um... <laughs> yes, the Imperium of Man has taken over. Indeed. Uh, more funnel equals more good. I mean, yeah, okay, minus 26% base accuracy, but, you know, great. It was never going to hit anything in the first place. Um, yeah, this thing does fit the six inches, doesn't it? More boom. Uh, I think that's all the boom we can fit. Uh... I could fit torpedoes, but let's be honest here, <laughs> since the update, torpedoes are worse than useless. We're going to prove the superiority of the gun, the mighty gun over all other supposed weapons. Um, right, I don't get any options on any of this stuff alike. 
base view, standards, black powder, brown powder. To, ooh, heavy shells, fancy. Um, speed, wow, well, actually, we could get some speed out of it. But not much. Let's go for 19 knots. Fearsome, and I am massively overweight, which is a bit of a problem. Hmm. Well, I haven't armoured the ship yet. Oh, Jesus. Right. Uh, deck armour, I think, is kind of optional in this era. Oh, yeah, that saves a ton of weight. <laughs> Who needs deck armour? Right. Um, go 10 inch? No, 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 we're just gonna go. Like this, it, like it, at least if they hit, they're gonna hurt. Um. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Getting armor on this thing's gonna be impossible. Well, I wouldn't really call these superb, they're pretty useless. Ugh, I hate them. Rate of fire. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, welcome to the <laughs> the olden days, <laughs> elite valor. Um, naval technology in, I mean, even in the decades before this was going like crazy. Um, like it wasn't too long before eighteen ninety that you still had, you know, ships with sails. <laughs> um, like, yeah, um, eh, it's terrible, but it'll do. What can I say? Yes, all the stats are terrible, but fine, whatever. Um, rubbish. Uh, next, <laughs> armored cruiser, the Blenheim. Uh, good grief. Wow, you can fit 11-inch guns on this bad boy. That. No, you can't. <laughs> well, not really. <laughs> Only if it fires directly forwards. Um, plus, I, I don't like that kind Let's go for a 9. 9 seems much more reasonable for a ship like this. Um, again, I'm going to cheese it. Cheese it. 9.9, there we go. Super big. 9.9 inch guns, there you go. Uh, except the game doesn't want to let me have fun. Sadness. Fine, just regular 9 inch. 45 guns, apparently. Um, 9.2, I'll try. No, doesn't fit. I can go for a 9.1, though. There you go. Um, oh, Armour Cruise is just rubbish, though. They are. It's just like... Okay, actually, they're not terrible, like, right at the start of the game, to be fair to them. The poor things. Uh, it's just... Uh, there, there's a period after you get dreadnoughts and battle cruisers where armored cruisers stick around before you get the heavy cruisers, and then they become completely useless. Um, so you do have to watch out for that. Uh, huh, no. Um, yeah, that'll do. That'll do. Again, I'm not going to put a huge amount of effort into these ships. Because they're crap and will probably be replaced. Uh, 
relatively quickly. Uh, yeah, you ain't going to be able to get up to any speed whatsoever. Jesus fucking Christ. Look at those stats. Look at that. Shockingly terrible. Um, sure, heavy shells. Why not? Um, God. Such a rubbish load of rubbish, right? Get that bot bet up slightly. Uh, wait, can you make the casements longer? Oh, you can! You can have oars. Amazing. Um,. Even bigger? Oh yes. Whoa! <laughs> look at the look at the weight. <gasps> Holy crap! Uh, need more armor. More armor. Uh, no, five. Too much. Still too much. Uh, there. Fine. Whatever. Useless. Absolutely useless. Pile of rubbish. <laughs> One and a half inch. Yeah. You can do. Which is fun. Um, the light cruisers. Now, I've played an 1890s campaign before. And light cr this light cruiser is surprisingly useful. Um, so, what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually make a reduced beam, reduced draft version because this is going to be our kind of going around shooting up convoys ship or at least that is going to be the plan Ooh, angled funnel Wish, and you can go absolutely bonkers with these. <laughs> ah, it's like the old days. Look at that. Yes. Um, I'll take off the Boundstone casements. Uh, I'm sorry. I know. I know it's a good idea. But uh, Cumbrian, thank you very much for the resub. <laughs> um, yeah. I, I mean, I'm not. Could probably tell I'm not. I don't really care about these ships too much. They explode everywhere. It's which is probably what's going to happen. Um, like, hopefully I won't get in a war <laughs> early on before I can. Uh, hello. It's a rather unusual arrangement. I like it. Um, I'm going to take that little hold on a minute. I'm going to take those off. I'm going to go for a little bit more sense. Just a little. Just a little. Uh, because we have other things we can do. Eh? Why would we not put them in there? Come on, game. Really? Won't fit them in the casements. Okay, no casements then. Um, this one probably should have some torque launchers. Oh wow, front mounted as well. Fun. Um, yeah, why not? Right, how fast can we make you go? Uh, not very fast, even with all those funnels. Uh, 22.4 knots. There we go. Yeah, that's totally, uh, totally fine. Don't need a range that big. Uh...
I don't think I changed that on the cruisers actually. I think they're on max HE. Oh well. Um, I didn't change any of this. 15 inch standard torps. That's fine. Uh, <laughs> Embiggen the guns. <laughs> yeah, it's good. Um, let's give him like an inch armor plate. Oh wow, we can make this thing a brick. Do do do. Okay, not not with deck armor because that's crazy. Apparently, turret armor. Point six, like point one on the top. There we go. Um, all bulkheads. All the bulkheads. Excellent. Good stuff. Um, and then the rest of the weight. Lovely. Uh, it's the tower that's causing the casements to glitch up front. Oh, well, I'll go for an all four inch. All four inch ship. It seems to work. Uh, it's a big eye. <laughs> uh, uh, let me find you. Uh, there is a appropriate name, I think. I think we call it the Iron Bridge. All right. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Low beam draft probably has something to do with it. Anyway, here we go. Our Quinter Funnel, <laughs> Quinter Funnel light cruiser. Uh, sure. And torpedo boat. Literally, do we need a torpedo boat? Oh, John Craig, 100 bits. Thank you very, very much. It's a long torpedo boat. <laughs> Tower, you only get one. Uh, four inch gun, check it. Yeah, single four inch on the front. Ooh, might be able to have some fun with the two inch guns in a minute. And top people launcher. Because you have to have one. Zip funnels. Um, let's go for the big one because it's fun. Is there any little two inch mountain points on that? No. Hmm. Four weight offsets. A little terrible. <laughs> oh wow! This yeah, this thing's going to be impossible to balance. I'm just going to build it how I want, how I like. Uh, yeah, we'll put that, that there, that. There, the torpedo launchers. How many could fit? Three? Yeah, fit three easily enough. Although they don't seem to take up much weight. I'll tell you what, can we, can, we, can we go for a slightly unusual torpedo boat? Let's go. There we go. <laughs> Little DACA battery on the back. Um, although it might be more efficient just to go with centers. I can get a fourth one in. Or not. Just trying to balance the ship with the fourth one. Maybe a second torpedo. No, although I could do side-by-side -side torp launches. 
There you go. Ah, there we go. Balance. Balance. Yes, good. <laughs> um, Jesus Christ, does it even matter what we do with the rest of this stuff? Right. Uh, oh, we can make super guns, of course. One mega gun on the front. And the two inches can be slightly beefy. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> Probably not what the enemy is going to be expecting. Uh, I can't armor it up at all. Um, uh, no, let's not do that. Where's the thing I was looking for? Uh, that one. Standard's fine. Can't change any of this. Standard crew quarters? Spacious crew quarters. There you go. Spacious crew quarters. Uh, we're not even able to do that speed. About half the map. <laughs> Jesus. It's slow talking about. Twen yeah, 24.3 knots. That's not great. Uh, but it can be super long range. Look at that. <laughs> what the hell is this? I can't do anything else. There's literally nothing else I can put on the boat. Uh, <laughs> okay, chat. Chat seems to quite like the uh, murder boat, as they're calling it. Um, <laughs> uh, dearie me. Hello there, uh, little reload. Nice to see you. Some line gun numbers are limited by my tech. Yeah, we've got plenty, though. And we've got a big one on the front. And then we've got some medium ones <laughs> sitting in the middle. Uh, yeah, the pitch roll, 100%. Yeah, you really don't want to be assigned to one of those. But sure, there we go. There is our massive, uh, massively carefully designed fleet. Uh, how much money do we have? 94 million. Uh... Right, 94 divided by 7 is about 13. Okay, um, I say we have six battleships. Mm, yeah, these are a fair amount of money left. Um, similar number of heavy cruisers. Actually, maybe a couple more. Maybe go for 10. Yeah, 10 heavy cruisers. Uh, 10 light cruisers. And... Fuck down the torpedo boats. <laughs> there, 28 torpedo boats. Done. Um, have you tried after the hotfix? So there's a hotfix that came out, I want to say today. <laughs> it might be yesterday, a time of recording. Um, I'm on the 2nd of June. Um, it, but very recently, there's a hotfix. Uh, so check to see if, if, if that's right. Okay, uh, finances. Obviously, we want our tick budget maxed out. Want this as high as possible. And we'll get some crew training on the go. Right. Let's start the campaign. Um, do, 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 do. <laughs> Gloriousness. Okay, now we can, we can start investing in building more shipyards. Increasing the crew training and increasing not quite all of that, but close. Because, um, of course, we are at peace. We just have an enormous fleet of ships that I've just let scatter to the four winds. Um, should probably think about putting them together. Yeah, New Haven. Move the superb to Portsmouth. 
Uh, move everything except a torpedo boat down to Plymouth. Move everything except a torpedo boat down to Portsmouth. Nothing there, nothing there, nothing there. Good. Uh, move the torpedo boats to Dover. Hull. Why does Sunderland have such a huge amount? Move them to Resyth, would you? Uh, and yeah, we'll keep keep some of Scarf, but that that'll do. Bum bum ba Little sea tension goes down. Interesting. Ah, an international conference. Journalists ask you about your naval expenditures policy. We can either go for continuous development of powerful military fleet as an answer to the increased naval expenditures of other countries, which is probably what I'm going to go for. We think that we have everything necessary. Ooh, ooh, that one's actually tempting. Uh, yeah, or the navy's fine. So there's no point doing this one because our RMS is already zero. Uh, although it does give us two two prestige, which is quite nice. Um. This one gives us the most money, but I don't like the unrest, so we're going to go for the middle one. Our fleet is equipped with everything necessary to defend itself, and is currently focusing on training the crew. And now we have contact mines. Okay, lovely. Um, looking at the re research, actually, what are we getting? Uh, improved heavy cruiser. Uh, mechanical armor forging. Mark two nine inch guns. Not that interesting. Mark II two inch guns again, not that interesting. Uh, some improvements there. Yeah, we just need to throw all of our money <laughs> into um, tech that we can. Yes, we have all the guns we need. Plymouth cars. Oh, yeah, there, there is a car company called Plymouth, isn't there? Although I'm assuming that's named after a Plymouth that was named after the Plymouth <laughs> down here. <laughs> anyway, we we I think that's an okay fleet disposition. We don't have anything down in the uh in the med is my only concern. But uh if anything kicks off down there uh none of these are particularly big, are they? No. Might be worth sticking a couple of torpedo boats right to all these places. Right. Limassol, you get a torpedo boat. Uh, Valletta, you get a torpedo boat. And Gibraltar, you get a torpedo boat. Oh, we're doing in the US? Yeah, it makes sense. Uh, I mean, a lot of lot of US place names are named after places in the UK or or Germany or France. It, it, loads of European names. The uh, Germans being a bit naughty. <laughs> How are our relations? Yeah, they're going down with Germany because of their nonsense. But it's fine. We we just need some some research and some better ships that are absolutely god awful. Now, hopefully this is not a problem. No, okay, good. That was a problem I had when I was when I was doing some testing with the initial release. Um, the game would hang on the building ships, but that seems to be fixed. That's good. Um, so this tension's going down actually. Or is that tension going up? I can't tell. I assume negative was good, but I think that's actually worse. As in, you're moving negative relations, so that's bad. Because the Germans are sending a whole bunch of stuff out into the North Sea, and that is pissing us off. But we're fine. We're just sitting in port doing nothing. <laughs> Apart from training and building up money and tech slowly slowly teching up yeah. 
This is the problem. They're going to be like, oh, you sent a torpedo boat. <laughs> How dare you? Uh, so we'll end up in a war. But um, yeah, with this hotfix, supposedly you can play after war's end. So I'm just going to keep clicking until we get another event. Ah, so the dotted lines, uniform, 764, that shows you that a task force um, is moving. So, ooh, fast torpedoes, cool. Uh, so this this one here, so if you hover over it, it shows you where it's coming from, what it's doing. So, yeah, there, there's a fleet over here that is sailing along this dotted line. So these are the, these are all German fleet moments. Oh, my goodness, twitching is 600 bits. Thank you very much. Uh, yeah, I'm very excited about 106 as well. Very, very excited. Uh, and you can see the French are moving a bunch of stuff around. And then we have one of our own ships here. This is the torpedo boat I sent over to Cyprus. So we, we have a presence everywhere. <laughs> um, basically. Yeah. Yeah, it's, 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 uh, it is a lot more interactive. Although I do still use this <laughs> stick it on sea control and hope method quite a lot of the time. Uh, improved tube mechanisms. Nothing really great. More tension. How are things looking now? Yeah, look, look at this. Really bad relations with Germany. And not great with Austria. How's. See, Italy quite like. Where's Italy? Italy is quite. quite likes everybody. Hmm. Yeah, us and Germany have the worst relations of anybody. But that's their fault, because they keep sailing... Look, <laughs> they keep sailing stuff around. Um, which is on purpose. Like, this is what you do to reduce tension. Uh, like, reduce tension? Increase tension. But make the numbers go down. The relation numbers go down, basically. Um, and the same will be happening for the Austro-Hungarians. Oh my goodness, and the 400 bits! Oh my goodness, Twitch and East. Thank you very much. Yes, I am indeed saving up for a new computer. Thank you for remembering. Um... Yes, uh, yeah, that's going well. Um, the 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 fund for that, um, progressing well. Uh, the parts that I want haven't been released yet, <laughs> so I've still got some time. Um, okay, turret traverse speed, very nice. Uh, come on, something good. The tech times still seem really, really long, but uh, I, again, I haven't had a chance to play play the full campaign yet. Yeah, big guns coming in, not two two-inch guns. Nice. Uh, but I don't feel the need to start a new design or a new class. I'm I'm much happier uh, just building building everything up. There we go. Maxed all the sliders. Yeah, tech times are quite long, um, and as well, if you if you start assigning priorities, then all your other research times go way way up. Um, I see these more of a oh, I desperately want those Mark II nine inch guns, right? And then you prioritize it and get it done in well, how long would it take? Two months instead of six, but like yeah, everything else is going to go way way up, so you don't want to don't want to leave it. Yep, economy is going up because we're uh, pumping funding into the transports. That's the plan. More tension. We now have gun cotton. Ooh. I think that is just flat better than black powder. Um, but again, do I? Uh, I don't want to refit them just for that I, I, I tend to think that y you want to wait um, and we'll, hopefully we'll get something else soon Like there's not enough for me to want to start doing uh, refits because I know that gun cotton is going to get we, you know we're going to get ballastite and we're going to get white powder relatively quickly um Where 
upgrades that. Six places, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Sun Hater, that's a cool name. <laughs> welcome, welcome to the channel. Thank you very much for the follow. Um, more tension, the two inch Mark twos. Excellent. Wait for a new hull. Yeah. Yeah, def definitely. Wait for a new hull before you start designing a new ship. And I think refits, to be honest, you know, with your pre dreadnoughts, you probably want to refit them like once. <laughs> <laughs> Once you have, like, the end of the pre-dreadnought tech, maybe then give him a refit. But to be honest, you're probably just going to chuck them out because they're rubbish. Oh, thank you for popping by, John Craig. Thank you very, very much. Yeah, enjoy your supper. Minimum beam, minimum draft. It is a good way to go. Uh, min beam, min, min draft ships are quite a good combo. Um, you can kind of get... Uh, you can get really, really good speed out of them. Um, very efficient ships. <laughs> Beyond the polar circle. Even f further north than I am, then. Um, I'm, I'm on... I think I'm about 56 degrees north where I am. More tension. How are things going? Yeah, n minus 90... Um, looks like a war might start quite soon between us and Germany. I wonder if anyone else will get involved. It'd be kind of cool if they didn't. Um, it was just us and Germany. Although the Austro-Hungarians might get involved because they hate us as well. Um, but, you know, there's a few... There's, they're, they're, you know, deal with the Germans and then just sail a doom stack straight up the Aegean. Uh, aha! A serious incident has occurred which involves the German Empire when their profound politicians was assassinated in cold blood. Oh dear. And their government accuses us that we are behind this. We ask for humiliating concessions to forget the matter. How should we respond? Uh, I'm just curious what happens if you go for that. Oh my word, no. Why? Why would you ever do that? <laughs> Plus two relations, which is pathetic. Minus two unrest, which we don't need. We have no unrest. Minus five naval prestige. Never do anything that lowers your prestige. And 80, $81 million, which is a huge amount of money. So no. Screw you. Or it is. Um, okay. What happens? Britain and the French Empire get positive relations. And negative relations with everyone else. <laughs> Choosing sides. Oh, and the Austro-Hungarians have just declared war on us as well. Excellent. War it is. War. Right. Um, fleet. Fleet. Sea control. Select. Good. Good, good, good. Right. Um, it's probably the easiest way. What's our power projection in the North Sea? That's not bad. Um, Western Med is pretty bad. Uh, does it tell you in here who's actually at war? I don't know if the French are or not. I wish it had like a little, like, little symbol or something, like a cross swords or something, to show you that you're actually actively at war. Um, with them in the politics screen, obviously I can see it up here. Jesus Christ! Look at all those ships. Oh my goodness. Yeah, on the map. Yeah, you're right. Uh, okay, Italian's not happy. Um. Hmm, France wants money for an alliance. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, we understand the problems of the French Empire, but if they do not have the money to support the Navy, how can they be valuable to us? We do not accept. No, thank you. Um, okay, 
We have some fights. <laughs> I think you can still refit them. Hey, Mr. Vinicle. Uh, I think you can still refit ships, but uh, like you can't build new ones. So you, you can't. You don't have access to the hulls anymore. Right, where are they? South east. Right. Look at this tub. Look at it. Look at it bouncing around. Oh my god, you'd be so sick on this thing. Who? Ah, uh, pre dreadnought design. It's just like. I mean, I hesitate to use the word design. Just slap a bunch of stuff on a ship. Um. Bum, 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 bum. Look at that, though. But there's nothing compared to this. <laughs> Look at the spiff I go. Look at it go. Oh, my word. You would be sick as inland on that ship. <laughs> right. You have torps? Nope. Both turrets firing, that might be fun. Of course, the thing doesn't turn, but. Take that. It's actually for, for this hole, which is ugly as anything. I do love those turrets, they those kind of flat disc turrets. Um there's something about them. Right, let's uh let's get the Spitfire involved. Engines to full advance to your maximum speed of twenty-four knots. Blazing away with your single four inch gun. No target lock. I noticed the target lock bug is uh, back with a vengeance in 106, which is a bit of a no noise, but so you have to keep an eye on your ships. Alright, let's have a look at your turpits. 12.2 inch guns. Some nine inch guns and a whole bunch of other <gasps> Enemy torpedo boat. Spitfire, engage. What you were made to do. Dack a time. Take that. <laughs> oh my god, the battleship's trying to shoot us as well. Shoot him again. Yeah. <laughs> oh, bloody hell, she does as well. I just noticed that. Well, remember we've been sitting there just like pressing in turn repeatedly for quite some time. Two inch guns. Well, sorry. Three three inch guns, basically. <laughs> yes, more. Glorious. Right. I think the S-18 is out of the fight. Yep. Right. How's the Caesar doing? She's alright. 
damage. Turpid's doing a little bit of damage. Well, in Spitfire. Ow. No. Stop it. Ooh, fuck. Nope. Get out. If you can. So rude. No smoke on a torpedo boat. But uh, she's dead in the water. Whoa, look at that accuracy! My word! <laughs> Leave her alone. Wind up those big guns. Smash her. Reload time on these five minutes. <laughs> it's Ninety four and a half seconds. Yikes! Long guns are cheating, but I don't mind cheating early on because uh, Jesus pre dreadnoughts. Fire! 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 Come on, you're loaded. There we go. Beautiful. Look at that. A thousand damage. Serves you right for shooting the Spitfire. Right, now we just have to spend a million years waiting for it to reload again. Ooh, six inch guns doing good work. Hundred percent accuracy. It's just no Spitfire. No, you did very well. You did extremely well. You're a good ship. Boo. Reload again. Six inch guns really. I'm surprised how well they're doing actually. Against all turpits here. What's actually sinking here is going to be difficult. This is probably where I should have saved the Spitfire for. But I was just trying to work her up. And they went. Oh, unreasonable on us. Oh, 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 oh. <gasps> yes. <laughs> oh my. <laughs> Ammo debt right through the main belt. And a big old hole. in chat for the uh, poor old Spitfire. She served with distinction. One to bits. Sink. You know you want to sink. Randomly flooding. Jesus Christ. Thank you. In battle, we sink. Jesus Christ. <laughs> uh. 
Well, a successful first engagement, I would say. Uh, Enterprise, uh, I think that's how it's supposed to pronounce that. Thank you very much for the follow. Uh, first Blood goes to the British, and uh, next episode we can do this interception. Cruisers fighting each other. Let's have, just have a quick look, though. Um, what have you got? S four six-inch guns. Hmm. And no torpedoes. Could be interesting. Uh, I'll see you next time. Bye for now.